There are few things in this world that make us smile more than seeing our four-legged friends wagging their tails at us. Dogs are more to us than just pets. Over the years, man has come to take dogs as allies and friends. Some dog breeds are available to all people, but some breeds only rich people can afford. Hello, and welcome to Daily Doge Channel. In this video, we will talk about 10 expensive dog breeds. So, before moving further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our upcoming amazing videos. All right, let's jump in. Number 10, Saluki. The Saluki, also called the Gazelle Hound, Arabian Hound, or Persian Greyhound, is native to the area from Eastern Turkestan to Turkey. The Saluki can look rather distinguished, and it should since it has the honor of being one of the oldest breed of dogs in the world. They can trace their lineage back to as early as 329 BC. This ancient breed is believed to be closely related to the Afghan Hound, another ancient breed. The Saluki is known as the Royal Dog of Egypt, and perhaps one of the oldest domesticated dogs known to man. They have even been depicted on Egyptian tombs, and were so valued that they were often mummified along with their royal or wealthy owners. They were bred to be sighthounds, meaning they use their keen eyesight to hunt prey. Their long legs allow them to quickly take down foxes, rabbits, and even gazelles. Salukis, like other sighthounds, work alone since no human could keep up with them. The Guinness Book of World Records claims that they are the fastest breed of dog and can run up to 42.8 miles per hour. Not only are they fast, but because their feet are heavily padded, they have a lot of stamina as well. They tend to be fiercely independent and can be aloof with strangers. A Saluki pup can cost you a pretty penny. Expect him to set you back around $2,500. Number 9. Peruvian Inca Orchid The Peruvian Inca Orchid, also known as the Peruvian Hairless Dog, is one of the few species of hairless dogs in the world. There are different varieties and some do actually have fur, but in Peru, breeders prefer their pups to be completely fuzz-free. Although they have the word Inca right in their name, these dogs actually predate the Incan culture and were depicted on mocha pottery in 750 AD. But Incans did love these dogs as well and even believed that their urine and feces held healing powers. These dogs are known to be intelligent, but getting your owner to praise you instead of scold you for using the carpet as a toilet is pretty ingenious. It was also thought that their warmth could treat conditions such as respiratory infections and arthritis. These dogs were bred to be sighthounds, like the Saluki. However, they are generally friendly and affectionate with animals. They're quite lively and alert, and often behave protectively towards family members, especially children. To get one of these unique looking dogs for your own, you're looking at spending around $3,000. But just think of all the money you'll save on brushes. Number 8. Azawak While these dogs were bred to hunt, they generally spend their days guarding livestock in West Africa now. The Azawak is named for the Azawak Valley in West Africa, and they come from the South Sahara and the Sahel Zone. These thin, long-legged dogs resemble greyhounds or salukis, but they have a very distinct gait that appears to be almost feline. Their light, unique gait is a breed characteristic that truly makes them stand out from the pack. They're not quite as fast as the Saluki, but can reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. Unlike other African dog breeds, the Uzzawak is available to purchase in Canada and the United States, although you're not going to get one for cheap. However, you do get a wide variety of color choices, including red, blue fawn, and black. Of course, you'll still have to pay about $3,000 if you want your own, and you'll want to budget in some cash for a dog walker because these dogs need a lot of exercise. They also love their humans and other dogs and feel their best when they're part of a pack. Number seven, Akita. If you prefer cute and fluffy over long and lean, look no further than the Akita. This working breed comes from the mountainous northern region of Japan. There are actually two different types of Akita, the Japanese Akita, the Akita Inu, and the American Akita. In the United States and Canada, those two strains are considered a single breed with differences in type, but in other countries, they're considered different dogs. You might recognize one famous Akita, who captured all of our hearts 
when he kept a constant nine-year vigil at a train station. The famous movie, Hatchie, A Dog's Tale, starring Richard Gere as a college professor who adopts an abandoned dog, and Akita Inu, retells the story of how the faithful dog kept waiting for its master to return from the railway station for 10 years, even after he had died. It's a colossal tearjerker. During World War II, American soldiers were so impressed with the Akita that they brought them back to the United States. This is when the Japanese and American Akitas began to diverge. These dogs are notoriously loyal. However, they can be quite stubborn and dominant, so require a lot of training. An in-demand Akita can fetch up to $4,500 in price. Number 6. Rottweiler These dogs may be expensive, but the Rottweiler is a breed that isn't afraid of hard work. In addition to being used as police dogs, they are used as guide dogs, search and rescue dogs, and to pull carts in modern times. Historically, the Rottweiler was a herding breed and is actually thought to be one of the oldest herding dogs. However, their origin is not well documented. It's thought the modern Rottweiler can trace its lineage back to dogs found in ancient Rome. They were eventually named after the German town Rottweil, where they drove cattle to market and protected livestock from bandits and predators. These dogs are natural guardians and are known to be protective of their families. Around people they know and love, however, they usually tend to act like lap dogs, despite their size. If you want a high quality Rottweiler from a reputable breeder, don't be surprised if you end up paying at least $2,500 or up to $6,000, depending on the bloodline. In addition, these dogs can have many health problems and are on the nationwide pet plan's insurance list of breeds with the highest insurance claims. So, just make sure vet bills and pet health insurance is also in your budget. Number 5. Tibetan Mastiff Although early records of Tibetan Mastiffs weren't very well kept, we have learned some interesting facts about these dogs via science. A Mita genome study showed that the Tibetan Mastiff lineage diverged from grey wolves about 58,000 years ago. A similar study showed that these dogs related to the Great Pyrenees, Bernese Mountain Dog, Rottweiler and St. Bernard. In fact, it's likely that these large and fluffy breeds descended from the Tibetan Mastiff. They were bred to protect livestock from fearsome predators such as wolves, leopards, bears and tigers. Today's Tibetan Mastiffs are still excellent guard dogs and like to keep an eye on their surroundings. Naturally, a dog that can take down a bear doesn't come cheap. You can expect to spend around $2,000 for a high quality puppy. However, there are many stories of people spending far more than that to get one with a special feature such as the man who spent $2 million on a red Tibetan Mastiff puppy. Standing up to 33 inches tall and weighing up to 160 pounds when fully grown, these dogs definitely aren't suited for apartment living. So, make sure you have a big yard for your new pet. Don't worry, they're protective for you. Number 4. Samiad These herding dogs take their name from the Samiadic people of Siberia. They were bred to help herd reindeer and pull sleds. Obviously, their beautiful white fur helps keep them warm, but humans really love it as well. Some people even use it to knit with and claim it has a delightfully soft texture. It can also be used to create fishing lures. And that charming smile we mentioned? It has a practical purpose as well. The upturned mouth ensures that they don't draw, which could form painful icicles in freezing weather. Samiad puppies can sell for around $8,000, but of course, You'll earn all that back easily once your dog sweater knitting business takes off. Just be sure to advertise that you're selling sweaters made out of dog fur and not sweaters to be worn by dogs. Number 3. Low Chin While you've probably already seen most of the dogs thus far, here's one that you might not have seen in person. The Low Chin is such a rare dog breed that there are less than a couple of hundred new registrations of them worldwide per year. You probably won't see one walking down the street, but if you're a fan of art, you've probably seen one before. They're found in many old paintings, tapestries and drawings dating back to the 16th century. Their exact origins are unknown, and while some people believe they came from Germany, others claim that they're from the Mediterranean. While the other dogs on our list are working, these dogs are enjoying being pampered by the wealthy elite. They're gregarious, playful and intelligent and make wonderful companions. 
they're known for their classic lion hairstyle, which involves shaving their hind legs and most of their tail. These little lions are so cute, it's easy to see why people have been charmed by them for centuries. As a huge bonus, they don't shed and are hyperallergenic. If you manage to find one, you can expect to pay up to $10,000 for the privilege of owning one. Number 2. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a little dog with a big name. These adorable Spaniels are wildly popular in many countries and make excellent family dogs. They're known for being friendly and affectionate and have long been companions to us humans. During World War II, wartime hardships were hard for pets as well and their population shrank to just six dogs. That's right, all of the Cavalier King Charles Spaniels you see today are descended from those six dogs. Because of this, these dogs can have a myriad of different health problems, ranging from ear infections to heart problems. In addition to mounting vet bills, don't forget the cost of the dog itself, which can be up to $14,000 depending on the quality of the dog. For that much money, the dog better be cute. Lucky for the King Charles Spaniel, it sure is. So, before moving on to the number one expensive dog in the world, please like this video and subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss our upcoming amazing videos. The number one expensive dog in the world is German Shepherd. German Shepherds are dogs that aren't afraid to get their paws dirty. As their name implies, they were bred to herd sheep. Unlike many other dogs mentioned thus far, this breed doesn't have a very long history. Their origin only dates back to 1899. However, because of their incredible intelligence, strength and trainability, they are very popular. And not just as pets. They're used for search and rescue, police work, disability assistance and they're even in the military. In World War II, they were used to deliver messages in addition to providing protection. Currently, they're used to scout situations and warn soldiers of danger. Although these dogs can move quite nimbly for such large animals, when you're the criminal running from the police, these dogs might as well be Cerberus. But they're a lot more than brawn. These dogs have brains as well. They rank third behind Border Collies and Poodles as the most intelligent dog breed. High-quality German Shepherd puppies can sell for $3,000. But if you want one pre-trained, that's going to be a bit extra, like about $20,000 extra. That's right. Highly trained service dogs can cost about $23,000. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it informative, do like and subscribe. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. And until then, stay tuned to Daily Doge.